Tomorrow is Earth Day, and we are getting ready by showing you some ideas for improving the planet. Well, Carrie Bellicosi is anyway. She's live in East Austin with a trailer going around showing how people can get rid of emissions, among other things. Hi, Carrie. Well, hey there. Can you believe it? If you were at Austin's Earth Day Festival this weekend, you may have seen this contraption. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's the only one like it here in Austin. So the question is, what the heck does it do? Well, creators say it actually reduces pollution. Okay, lower it down over that hook. For two years, algae bioreactor consultant Megan Bracken and Austin company Sustainable Waves have worked together to create this. We just let it blast out. This is a mobile algae bioreactor unit. It is uh, set up so algae can photosynthesize and eat carbon dioxide on site at uh, festivals or places where there's a stationary... Uh, power generation. Every large event, carnival, you name it, uses generators just like this one to produce electricity. Then the exhaust pipe from the generator is hooked up to this vacuum. That's when the pollution is sucked out from the generator, goes through these tubes of algae, and then fresh air is created. Just off the top of the tubes. The tubes aren't sealed shut at the top, so it just uh, vents off into the air. The idea of using algae to convert pollution into clean air isn't new. Bracken says scientists came up with the theory decades ago. The folks at Sustainable Waves are now applying it. And we finally uh, kind of got the technology here in Austin and we're developing it for the Austin Earth Day event for its first kind of inaugural, you know, display. So we're really excited to kind of work with it and to improve it, you know, as uh, we learn more about it. Yeah, that's got a long cord, so we're golden with that. Demand for algae trailers like this one is growing all over the country. Now, this is part of the cooling system uh, for cooling the exhaust. Um, a regular old spa blower from a hot tub is what's up there powering the vacuum and the blowing of the exhaust. And uh, we've just got a submersible pump down here and a, a water tub. This local prototype is still getting tweaked. Here we go. And the brains behind it hope it will soon be a staple at area events. Now, this is only a small example of how algae can really help reduce pollution on our planet. In fact, environmentalists tell me that manufacturers and factories can connect to fields or ponds of algae to filter the emissions they release. Now, that's not in place just yet. This is, like I said, a small example. And if you check, look at these tubes right here. They are bright neon green this morning. And if you looked at the story that we taped on Friday... Yeah, the algae has definitely grown, so that's the cleaner that they can get the air with a contraption like this one. Can you believe that? And it made its debut at, like I said, the Earth Day Festival over the weekend. So got to look out for these things at the festivals here in Austin. I think that thing's very cool. Yeah. Thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Still